Hey, I'm Megan from Good Team, and we are going to be exploring the new forms, the new HubSpot forms editor today. Um, it has a lot of exciting new features. Um, it's been in beta for a bit, and now it is rolling out live. So let's explore it together. Um, if you're building a form, you will just click the new forms editor. Um, if you've been in HubSpot for a while, like me, it's a little bit interesting to get used to. I am just stuck in my ways and I'm used to the old settings, but as I've explored it, it is a lot more intuitive and visual. So I think it is going to be really helpful. Um, as you can see, uh, the thing I am, one of the things I'm most excited about here is that you can do a multi-step form now. So we have created gigantic forms in the past for clients and for a consumer, that's very overwhelming. So we want to be able to break up the form. Um, so yeah, this would have helped us a lot in the past, but it's going to help us in the future too. So that's great. Um, but yeah, you can break it up depending on whatever makes sense for the form you're doing. But um, I think that is very exciting. Um, before I forget, we can still edit the submit um, button. So you can still show a thank you page or redirect over here um that took me a minute to find so i just wanted to not forget to go over that um but yeah you can do multiple steps there is a lot of formatting options so if you want to edit the background here like this bluey color um uh, we would click here and then go to style um, here is the background and you can make the form in the center or to the right or you can make the background an image um, you can also uh, oh, we'll go over that in a second. But for the progress bar at the bottom, you can make it a percentage. You can show the number of steps or you can show no text at all. Um, there is like so many formatting options here to make it look just exactly like your brand's voice and colors. And I think all of that is going to like level up the forms that we're creating. So very exciting. Um, just going over all of these sidebar things. Um, this kind of looks like the old forms editor if you are uh, familiar just with the options here. But here is if you want to create a new property. Uh, these you can search for all of the properties that you have in your system and add them to the form. And this is just a drag and drop situation. Um, one thing here, HubSpot is has been um, heavily talking about the validation rules and course, like connecting to the new forms. Um, so let's check that out real quick. So if we, there are different rules for different properties, but let's say we're making a single line text property. Some of the validation rules would be require unique values, set minimum character limit, maximum, allow numbers, only don't allow specific specific characters, special characters, sorry, my words. Um, I think this is going to be really, really helpful with um, data collection, just because when you give the consumer an opportunity to write out something, especially like single line text, multi line text type properties that you are doing custom for your own company, it can just get really wonky with how they're going to fill that out. So the more rules we can put around that, the better for reporting and for just whatever your system is within HubSpot. Um, so that's something that um, they have definitely been hitting on with the new um, forms editor. So I think that is going to be really helpful to just make for clean data, which I love. Um, this is kind of like the old forms um, editor as well, because you can add images, headers, paragraphs, captcha, data privacy, all those things. So you can just drag and drop those to wherever you need them. Um, this is kind of like an outline setting. I would say you can click everything here and it's more visual, or this is a little more like text space. Um, and if you want to go in and edit all of the different, um, you can also click into the form. But um, this is a connected property, field options, label. You can add, this is where you can add the placeholder text or the help text or a default value, make it a headed field, required field, all of the things that we're used to in the old forms editor you can find here in this like outline setting or you can click in here. Um, 
logic wise um oh this we had in our old forms editor as well but i think this layout of it is going to be a lot more intuitive so essentially um this whole section is if someone answers a question this way this property will come up so let's say they you have to collect certain information if you have a child um like a patient form is what i'm thinking of so yes i have yes i'm the parent or no i'm the individual and then based on that response different properties will show up um that is just one really niche use case but it could apply to a lot of different things so obviously we want to give them as least as little questions to answer as possible so we can make sure they complete the form so this will help us yeah just cater it to what the specific information we need and not have a bunch of properties that they're not going to have to touch if that makes sense um so yeah any kind of logic we can add is amazing um so yeah i think this is going to be a lot more visual and helpful than the last form editor um so i'm excited about that um i to my knowledge there's not like a limit on how many rules that you can create. Um, this is more styling. I think we went over this. We clicked into here already, I guess. Background of this um, page. Um, but this is similar to the forms editor where you can do any kind of color for the help text background. Um, you can literally, yeah, make everything so specific to your brand and your voice. Um, down to the background, heading, progress bar, everything can be your colors, your fonts, everything. Uh, sorry if I went over that twice. I do not remember. Um, this is a recommendations tab. So they're having a lot more of this on HubSpot, which I'm really enjoying. But this will give you any kind of recommendations from like HubSpot AI, AI to um, just streamline your form. Um, yeah, they might have just different suggestions based on what you put on there. So that would be cool to check out before you set it live, just to see if there's anything helpful there. Um, this is the simple automations that you can create on the back end of the form. So maybe you just want like a thank you for submitting the form uh, kind of email. You can set that up here. Obviously, you can also create your workflow from the back end and add the form as a trigger as well. Uh, settings. Um, you can automatically create new contacts from unknown email addresses. We always have this on um, just because if we've never received this email before, we want that to be a contact, um, but it depends on your uh, business and your system. Um, set new contacts as marketing contacts. That would depend on, for us, we make sure there's some kind of opt-in um, to be able to click this box, but um, yep, this is the option to turn off and on that here. Pre-populate forms for returning visitors. That's really great if people fill out multiple forms for your company, it can already kind of pre-populate. Uh, the information we know about them. Um, this we don't have access to with our subscription that I'm on right now, but uh, this basically collects any kind of data enrichment information and basically eliminates those properties from the form because HubSpot already knows them. So this would just like shorten your forms um, if you choose to use that. So that would be great. Um, this you can add it to a campaign. You can set a life cycle stage. Submission settings, this is you can um, send to a contact owner or users to notify them that the form has been filled out. Um, yeah, you can block domains here. Also, just a tiny little note, if someone fills out, now that we have the multiple pages, I'm curious how that will affect people kind of dropping off. Um, but if they only fill out part of the form, the form is not submitted. So just a little pin for you to put in your brain. Um, yeah, and this is about the language. So I think this is all of the features. I think I covered everything. I'm really excited to start using this and I hope you are too. Let me know um, what you discover that I may not have covered and have a great day.